With the current macroeconomic situation in the country affecting businesses and the welfare of citizens, the National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Country, NAVDAC, may be doing more harm than good by banning aqua oil production in sachet and small pet bottles. This was the view of the executive members of Distillers and Blenders Association of Nigeria. Chairman of Divan, Patrick Anegbe, who made this known at a press briefing in Lagos, stated that the ban, when implemented, will cause about 5 million Nigerians to lose their jobs. According to him, the issue of underage and irresponsible drinking, access control and strict monitoring can be adopted rather than an outright ban. Reacting, the Director General of the Manufacturers Association of Nigeria, Shegun Ajayi Kadri, said ban is not the solution. He, however, came up with some recommendations to NAVDAC on how best to manage the situation. Our press conference today was called to address the ban on the production of uh, alcohol in pet bottles and such, which NAVDAC imposed. And what our contention is that we believe that that ban is counterproductive. We actually believe that access control is preferred and better. And this has been shown by the uh, research that was commissioned even by government itself with the active support of all stakeholders, which indicated that a ban would be counterproductive, but access control was going to lead to the survival of business, the achievement of uh, uh, restriction of uh, access by underage people, that's people who are below the age of 18, and even encouraging responsible consumption because our campaign by our members who produce uh, alcohol in pet uh, and such are tailored towards uh, ensuring that there's responsible consumption. And what we are saying is that when you even make them available in smaller volumes, it encourages people to drink small and not to drink big. So we felt that the conversation we are having should be about access control and that industries are ready to do more to strengthen the hand of government and its regulatory agencies so that we do not have a situation where you kill businesses, throw 5.5 million people out of job, direct and indirect, and also to throw 25 uh, companies into closure. We are saying that more dialogue, we are saying that the removal of the ban, we are saying that joint efforts to achieve the desired objective is better than a ban. I mean, that, that encapsulates the essence of what we've heard today. Alcohol, like many other products, has to be consumed in moderation. Now, if you are going to place restriction on the consumption of a certain product, but at the same time take away the means of consuming that product in moderation, it is going to be counterproductive. So you're saying, drink responsibly. But at the same time, you're saying, oh, I'm going to ensure you drink responsibly, but I'm going to restrict you to buying only the bigger sizes. Um, so the logic and the practicality doesn't work. If the banning is sustained, we know how many people that will lose their job. In every household, every worker, at least feeding at least five people. And look at the 500,000 that are direct workers of this distillery's company. Multiply it by five average. And also look at all these vendors that are doing the packaging materials. Those who are doing laminates, those who are doing cartons, those who are doing gift boxes. See how many people that are going to lose their job. Even the investment that distillers have made, this equipment cannot be, does not have alternative uses. And we have borrowed money, both in Naira, both in Forex. How do we pay back? Ban has never been the way out. In those countries, the way out is access control and regulation. As I speak in Angola, 